Hello sports fans, welcome to Super Sports Central. Today we have my week 4 USFL predictions. So last week I had a record of 2-2, two and two, which brings my overall season record to 7-5. and five. So starting off with this week's games, we have the Philadelphia Stars taking on the Michigan Panthers. This game will be played on Friday night. Stars quarterback Brian Scott is out due to injury, so Case Cookus, their backup quarterback, will be starting for the Stars, who is pretty good in relief for Brian Scott against the Generals. He completed 65% of his passes for 146 yards and one touchdown. For the Panthers, they also have a quarterback injury, and that is quarterback Paxton Lynch. He's questionable on the game, like the game injury report, but was moved to the inactive roster, so I'm not really sure which is really the case there. Um, but I'm going to call him questionable because really it's a big question. Um, so that's not really great for the Panthers because he, I think the offense looks a lot better under him. It gives them another threat running the football and that's the direction the Panthers need to go. Uh, running a lot of, um, running the ball a lot, especially with the quarterback like Paxton Lynch. So both of the better quarterbacks on their team are injured. Um, so, with Lynch out or questionable, I'm going to go with the Stars, because I don't trust the Panthers' offense under Shea Patterson. They haven't been good. They scored 12 points and 6 points, and then they scored again last week. Um, but I just don't trust them under Shea, Shea Patterson. They don't score enough for me, um, so I have the Stars winning 21-10. But it definitely could go either way because the Panthers have a amazing defensive front and the Stars have a very bad offensive line. Their quarterbacks have been sacked a total of 11 times already. Next, we have the Generals against the Maulers. So the Generals have emerged as the best team in the North and are facing the worst team in the league. They're 0-3. Well, the Maulers are 0-3, that is. The Generals are an elite team at running the football. The Maulers aren't really great at anything. They're winless. I think the Generals end up getting an easy win here, winning 28-12. Next game, we have the Saturday night, Saturday night game. We have the Stallions against the Bandits. We will be doing a live watch party here. Um, th so the stream will begin Saturday night at 6.50 p.m. Eastern Time. So I hope to see you guys there at the live watch party. Um, and you guys will get to see all my live reactions, analysis, all stuff like that. So I hope to see you guys there. Um, so... The Stallions are the only remaining undefeated team in the USFL. The Bandits are 2-1. and one. It's going to be a great game. I think the Stallions will get the win, but it will be a very close game. Um, and I would expect the Stallions to, yes, run the football, but I would expect them to throw a lot of quick passes out to Victor Bolden, as they've done in previous games, because of how good the Bandits' defensive front is. And I know I said that last game, and they got ran over by Mark Thompson and the Gamblers. Um, but I really do think it is the strength of their defense. And lastly, but I do have the Stallions winning 28-10. Lastly, we have the Breakers against the Gamblers. So the Gamblers had a tough time holding leads. Um, and the Breakers have an elite defense, which makes a lot of good offenses struggle. And for the Gamblers, they have a great ga ground game. Um, but they have the offensive pieces, but they just can't put them together, specifically through the air. And their defense also isn't great. They've allowed the most points in the USFL uh, this this far. I do have the Breakers getting the win. I have the Breakers winning 26-14. So those are my week four USFL predictions. Um, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you agree with my predictions, disagree, and why. Comment what four teams you have winning this week. Um, so make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, I do my best to post as often as possible, and I will see you in the next video.